In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to create this type of cool looking animation. Firstly, I'm going to create a new collection and rename it as box. I'm going to delete this cube and disable this collection because we don't need it now. Press Shift A and add a plane. Press Tab to go to in edit mode and select the edge selection mode. I'm going to select the right edge first and press E, Y and 2. Again, we are going to extrude it. Press E, Y and 0.8. Now we have to scale it down. So press S, X and 0.8. Now this is the time for the other side. Press E, Y and negative 2. Press E again, Y and minus 0.8. Now I'm going to select this edge, press E, x and minus 2 press e again x and minus 2 one more time press e x and minus 0.4 now i'm going to scale it down press s y and 0.9 okay now i'm going to select this edge press e x and 2 now press the period button and set the pivot point to individual origins after selecting these two edges press e x and minus 0.8 now press s y and 0.8 now select these two remaining edges and press e x 0.8 press s y and point it press tab to go to in edit mode shift a and add a single bone tab to go to in edit mode again and we are going to select the whole bone and press s z and 2 and now press g and minus 2 now click on this object data properties and from the viewport display i'm going to tick the names and in front press z and go to in wireframe mode select the upper ball of the bone press 7 for the top view press e x and 2 press alt p and disconnect the bone now we can grab it anywhere press g and one shift d to duplicate the bone press period button and click on 3d cursor now we can rotate it from the 3d cursor press r z and minus 90 and repeat the same process here okay now select this upper ball press e y and point it i'm going to select that ball again and press e x and point four now we have to disconnect it again press alt p and click on disconnect bone okay now press g x and one press g again y and minus one okay now press shift d grab on the x-axis minus 2 press the period button click on individual origins now press r again and rotate it 180 degrees okay now select these four bones and press shift d and before rotating this we are going to change the pivot point to 3d cursor and press r z 180 okay now just two bones are remaining click on this ball press e x and minus 2 press e again x and minus 0.4 now i'm going to rename all these bones like 1 2 3 it will be easy for me when i will assign the bone to the box now for this vertical bones i'm going to type vertical 1 vertical 2 vertical 3 like this and for the smaller bones i'm going to type small 1 small 2 and small 3 like this. and the last bone i'm renaming it as another bone because this is the parent of you know, the bones press g z and 2 now press z again click on the solid mode press tab select the box first and then the r measure press ctrl p and with empty groups okay now select the box again press tab click on the face selection mode okay now we are going to assign the right faces to the right bones like select this mother bone and click on this face and click on assign click on this fourth bone and assign it to that face that will be controlled by that bone press 7 for the top view and assign every single bone to the correct faces of the box by the way we are in the object data properties if you are having trouble to find this okay now press tab select just the armature and press ctrl tab okay now we are in the pose mode press a to select all the bones t select the mother bone press i and click on rotation go to keyframe number 30 press period button and click on individual origins now we can rotate and close the box press r y and 90 press i and click on rotation now select the upper bone press r y and 90 press i and click on rotation okay now select the smaller bone and press r y and 92 not 90 and again press i click on rotation i'm going to select these two smaller bones press r y and 90 sorry now 90 92 because this should be a bit inside of the box so 92 92 is good press i again and click on rotation okay now select these two smaller bones press r y 92 negative 92 and press i and click on rotation okay now select this bone press r x 90 okay okay negative 90 press i click on rotation okay select this bone press r x and minus 90 mm, i think minus 94 should be good for this okay minus 94 done press i click on rotation okay now select this bone press r x and 90 press i click on rotation Select this bone, press R, X, and 92. Press I, click on rotation. Now, the last bone, select it, press R, Y, and minus 90. Press I and click on rotation. Now, I'm going to uncheck the names and in front. Okay, now let's see the animation. Everything is, looks good. We just have to adjust some small things. Okay, I'm going to select this bone and drag this up a bit. Select the keyframes and drag them forward. Okay, do the same thing for the upper bone. Select both the bones at the same time and just shake the keys a bit forward. 
Okay, let's see what we can do more. Okay, let's select the backbone and I'm going to drag this just a little bit back. Okay, now let's play it again. Okay, we just need one more adjustment like this bone and drag the key a bit forward. And we have done. Hooray! The animation is ending on the keyframe number 53. So I'm going to set the end frame to 53. Now control tab, we have to create the paper. So select the box, shift D and press slash. Now we just have this box and nothing else. Don't worry, we will take them back. Now I'm just going to press space and see animation. Why? We don't need the animation here because this is not the original box. This is the duplicated version. To get rid of this animation, we are going to press Alt P and clear the parent. Now it does not have any animation. Thank. I have to add a plane here. Shift A, Mesh, Plane. Scale it up, not too big, not too small. Scale it down on the axis of Y. Grab it in the center of the box. Select the box, go to in edit mode, select the whole box, press E and extrude it. By selecting the whole box, grab it down. Press tab to go to in object mode and select the box, select the paper, press Ctrl minus. Press slash again to get everything back. Ten ten. I'm going to grab this paper to the collection. And finally, enable this collection. And by selecting this collection's collection, I'm going to add another plane. Scale it up. And I also have to grab this down. Not too much. So press 1 from the number pad for the side view. And zoom it. Sorry, zoom in. I just grabbed it a little bit down. So it will not overlap the paper and the box. I just have selected these two edges and extruded them. We don't have to go too high. Now select these three edges. Press Ctrl B. And scroll the wheel up. Press tab and right click, share this mode. Now I'm just renaming these all the things like paper, surface. Okay, after that, press 0 and press N. Check this camera to weave option from the weave tab and uncheck it after setting the good camera angle and position. Now I'm going to delete this default light, press shift A and add an area light. I'm going to grab the light a bit up and I'm going to scale it up. I'll also increase the strength of the light. 1000 would be good for this, I think. I'm going to press Shift D, grab it down. I'm going to add an object constraint to this. Click on this add button and then track to select the eyedropper and select the box. Now when we move the light, the face of the light will track the box. It will gonna reduce our rotation work. Now I'm going to scale it down and I'll also increase the width of the of this light. Press G and grab it a bit down. Press the period button and click on 3D cursor. Shift D and rotate it on the Z axis 90 degrees. I also have increased the size. I don't want it in the camera. So that's why I'm pushing it back. But it's not enough. Let me increase the size of this surface. Now we can put this more back. Press G and Y and grab it like this. Now I need one more. Press Shift D. Rotate it on the Z axis 90 degrees. Now I'm going to select both of them and uh, on the lighting settings, I'm going to set it blue. And also I have increased the strength by pressing Alt. If I don't press Alt, then it will gonna affect just on one light. Like this color, I have to select it again. Okay, I'm going to set some colors to our objects. Select the box, go to materials, properties, new and rename it if you want. Press Z and click on render view. Select the box color, whatever you want and set the same material to the paper. Now select the surface and set it to whatever the color you want. Now I'm going for the world properties, selecting the other color and also increasing the strength. Now it's render time. Go to the render properties and I'm going to reduce the samples to 100. And I'm also going to increase the contrast from this color management. Let me move this here so we can see it clearly. Uh, in the middle, I think I need one more blue light. So I'm gonna duplicate this light one more time and select Shift D, R and just rotate it on the Z axis. And one more thing I want to do, I want to grab all of them a bit, a bit back. So I will gonna select them one by one and grab them back like this okay now let's see this is and render okay i think it's better i'm going for the output properties and i'm going to select it ffmpeg select the output location and encoding to mp4 now press ctrl f12 and wait thanks for watching and see you later